Hi everybody, Scott Cart here. Today I have uh, another another presentation for you. Today I have something that I've been longing for for many, many years, and that is an automated solder sucker. Now I do have available uh, some, some less expensive uh, solder suckers uh, on my website. Uh, so there's this cheapy, um, and he is super cheap. And uh, by no means is it any any replacement for for a better quality one uh, or the original solder solder pole, which uh, are fantastic. Except they, I find them quite large and cumbersome, and uh, sometimes they're they're a bit of a problem when when you have multiple uh, holes that you need to suck out, and so that poses a problem. Uh, so this this is something that uh, I've I've wanted for quite some time. I've never really never really had one here at my home lab. And uh, it's I don't even have one at my at my work lab, and part of the reason is that I do a lot of SMT stuff. So uh, doing through hole is 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 the, an exception to the rule as opposed to uh, the norm. Uh, but uh, when I do have to do it, I find it quite annoying. And so if I if I have a replacement part for it, I'll probably just cut it off. But if if I'm trying to troubleshoot and find out. You know, is that component good? Then I want to I want to pull it out, and so this this is uh, something that I found. Uh, it took me a few vendors to get somebody who would actually ship it to me somewhat reliably, and so uh, you know, uh, being upfront, if this is the if this works out, if it's good, uh, you'll find it on my website. If it's not, uh, it's going to be a cautionary warning not to purchase this Gauji uh branded uh solder solder sucker um now hopefully it's good because uh, it did cost me some money and uh as everybody knows or maybe you do or maybe you don't uh my videos are not sponsored so um if you do want to help me out hey i do have uh t-shirts uh available at my web store uh, the links down below if uh, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, you can absolutely feel free to uh, hunt one down yourself, or you can use my web store and uh, help support me that way. All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we get in the box. I guess the first thing is uh, the box managed to get all the way here to Canada uh, without too much uh, damage. I have removed it from the uh, from the shipping package, and this is the way it arrived. So let's see what we get inside. Okay, some specifications. It uh, tells me that the motor's uh, less than 20 watts. Uh, it tells me that it's going to pull... Uh, about uh, 600 milli millimeters of mercury, and that it has a 80 watt uh, ceramic heating core in it, which is quite substantial, uh, just saying. Uh, it has a reasonable one meg, or sorry, 100 meg uh, resistance, so it should be reasonable for, uh, for ESD. And uh, yeah, we're gonna read the rest of that later. Let's keep moving on here so ubiquitous foam the unit itself let's see got the yeah that's the base we'll take a look at that in a second it's definitely definitely got some heft to it i like it all right so fantastic so this is the uh this is the where where the solder will collect, and so we can see that it does have a bit of a filter down in there. Uh, it's got a post filter here, some sort of screen in there, I assume. And uh, this pad, this this aluminum pad's kind of neat. So what happens is when the hot solder hits the cold pad, it it'll uh, it'll dissipate some of the energy and hopefully freeze there. And uh, yeah, so one of the reasons why I, I liked this this design is it's completely handheld uh so temperature control here on the side it looks all right um so a lot of the more professional units have a giant base and that's problematic when you're when you have tight bench space so i thought this would be this would be reasonable so some spare filters that's fantastic 
Uh, if this ever gets clogged up, uh, we've got a little, little ramrod there, so we'll, we'll keep that safe. And that's pretty much it for the box. All right, let's take a look at what we have in here. That's uh, fairly benign. We've got a uh, tray for our sponge. The magic sponge. These things are these things are absolutely phenomenal. They come in so thin, and it's it's like magic the first time you uh, the first time you use it. Uh, we'll we'll worry about that later. Oh, I like the way that fits in. Not sure how long it'll survive pushing up against the switch like that. But it's it's definitely reasonable. I don't see any power switch on here, so I assume as soon as you plug it in, it will not. So, as I was saying, that's annoying. Looks like there's going to be some crafting involved here. Yeah, it's definitely getting hot. I, I see the magic smoke is starting to come out. Manufacturing smoke. Uh, not quiet. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. We'll set this to... Uh, I'll take a stab at... 390? 370? We'll call that 380. Okay, well, set that here. And I'm just going to turn this sideways so it doesn't run. Well, let's uh, see what we can suck up here. Oh, that smells quite strong. I'd like to turn the fan on here in a second. So we're going to start with some lead-free solder here because that's always the fun stuff. And uh, I don't know what have I got for random parts here that I can put on this board. We won't do something impossible like a kinked lead uh, part on there. But let's see. That looks just about right. Oh, look at that. All right, so we'll just give that a quick little solder here. Forgive me, Bill. I know that's not the right component for your board, but... It's just for testing. Okay, so lots of goop there. Let's uh, let's give it a try. All right. Well, it removed that TO220 case quite nicely. Uh, as you can see, I can still hold the part. Uh, so it's warm, but it uh, it didn't wasn't too bad. That's annoying. Um, yeah, all in all, that uh, that seems to do the trick. Uh, as far as far as that's concerned, let's uh, let's try something a little bit more uh, industrious. Here we're gonna. To fill this giant hole up. Okay, so a nice big goop in there. Able to heat that up in the bottom. Oh, that's a that's a treat. All right, let's uh, unplug that. We'll let it cool down. We'll uh, pop it open here in a second. Meanwhile, I'm going to grab a file for that. You know what might be better is if I just took that. Of course, my linesman spliers are in the other room. All right, let's see if we can just give that a little bend down to do the trick. No, not a chance. We're going to remove this. 
So it would have been convenient if one of those holes had been in the right spot to remove that. So all I'm planning to do is just bend this down slightly. You can see where they they stamped it, which I I, I guess I guess a lot of a lot of you who are in the electronics industry haven't been in the stamping industry, but you can tell how something's manufactured by some of the marks that are on it. So for example, this was stamped probably in a hand transfer tool. And we can see that the tooling, the tooling's a little bit rough. And so this would have been stamped uh, with this laying down. We can see the, sh the white marks here. Okay, a little bit of pickup on it. So this this material and the punch aren't sharpened, or well, the punch isn't uh, polished quite enough and it's starting to pick up. And so when they wipe this down, they could only wipe it to 90 degrees. And because it's just ever so slightly too long, it wants to catch in here. I mean, you can see I filed that down. That's pretty much got it already. But the other thing that we can do is if you don't have a file, you can just give this a little bend down here and that will reduce that that distance. Okay, it's still wanting to touch for me. So let's give it some more. I assume everybody watching this channel will have a set of pliers and a screwdriver. So just be careful not to have it roll all the way over yet. Okay, so that seems to have it. Now we can put this back in place. I'm not sure why there's two positions on this. We'll go for this one. A uh, little, little mechanics trick. Make sure that you don't uh, tighten screws down all the way until you, you get them all in position. This way it gives you the ability to make a little bit of adjustment and compensate for any uh, manufacturing anomalies. Now that looks like it's going to be okay. Kind of clever the way they use the, uh, the holes and the perforated perforations on the side to as their screw holes. Saves trying to be clever. For those that don't know, I spend a lot of time uh, originally as a tool tool maker and as a as a tool designer, so some of this, some of this is old hat. Definitely makes for an interesting career, bouncing around between mechanical, electronics, electrical, manufacturing. Pretty sure I've got that in the right way. Let's give it a try. Okay, so yeah, now now it now fits in there nicely. That works that works for me. All right, so to remove the the uh, capsule, we'll just pull back here on this little plunger, pull this out, and we should be able to. Yep, yeah, indeed, there's a piece that came out, and we can see the schmutz down there on the bottom. There we go. So that's that's what we managed to uh, to waste. Let's see. Pops out the bottom nicely. I get it. I see. All right. 
So, uh, worth the price? I'll say yeah. Um, you know, time time will tell. We'll put this through its paces uh, and give it a, give it a try. Uh, if it uh, if it does have a problem uh, wh while doing manufacturing, I will uh, let everybody know. I'll pull it off my website. In the meantime, if you are interested, I will uh, I'll link it into my my site down below. Uh, Jiao, uh, sorry, Gao Gao Ji, I believe, or Gao Ji. Somebody can correct me if I'm pronunciation's wrong, but uh, yeah. I give this, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up. Definitely, definitely worth the worth the money, and uh, I, it's it's definitely not not going to be a thousand dollar comparison, but it's definitely it's definitely at this price point, uh, fantastic. And I'm going to I'm going to work it quite a bit um, in the in the coming days, as I have some board uh, bordery works to do. All right. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down is fine. I'd love to hear from you down below. Comment away. Uh, if you'd like to help my channel out, do subscribe and uh, make sure that you hit the notify bell to, to uh, keep informed when I create new content. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye now.